pop back again. What is going on, my sexy subscribers? My name is Best of Ghost, but you guys probably already know that. Let me fix my microphone really quick. So, here we go. And I'm nice, nice style and clear. Today, today's a new video, special video for you guys. This is a video that I think this is this is one of a kind. This is the one of a kind video that you guys will find on the YouTubes and be like, holy Jesus Christ, thank God I found this video. Because today's video is going to be concerning. Oh, my thing just fell. The thing uh, will be concerning about the loot and how the loot system works and how you can find better loot than what you normally find. So what people usually do if they can't find loot, they'll like drop a league. I have no clue for what apparent reason, but that's what they do. They'll just like, let's say you're in gold one and um, and you can't find loot. You click next, 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 and you just cannot find loot. So you're like, you know what, fuck this. Boom, you drop the gold two, and it's even worse loot because you're finding bases you're getting penalty looted on. You're like, <laughs> I'm gonna fix that. Hopefully, this has been working for me. I mean, the way like I've seen people like no one's ever done it. I only talk about only my friends know about this, but it's no glitch, it's no hack, it's none of that. It's it's actually legitimate and it works. It works for me. It could work for you. Now, now the way this works is that let's say let's say your name is Billy and Billy is uh, he's he's farming, so Billy's on break and Billy wants to farm. He wants to get his fucking walls done and and he he wants to boost the barracks from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. He's not gonna stop. He's not gonna go up to take a shit or a piece. And he can't find loot so what does he do so Billy so I got you Billy today um so Billy I will we'll, we'll figure this out okay so let's say I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give you a brief summary of what this is um usually I'll do like 30 to 35 nexus you know when you click next next next, next. I'll do 35 if I can't find loot then what I do is I'll drop one troop depending on my trophy range if I am in high gold one, we're gonna say gold one, like when I'm Luke. So like, if you're Town Hall seven, you're silver. Imagine silver one as gold one. You know, use your imagination. Right now, see, I'm not, I'm nowhere near gold crystal three, but I'm I'm like medium. I'm like the the middle wage man. And I'm fine. So like, I can drop trophies. I can gain trophies. I'll be fine. So I can't find loot. I'm clicking next, next, next. Let's say we did 35 nexes and we still can't find loot. Now how how do we do this? Best of, how do we fix the loot? So what you do? We'll we'll search for base. Not even done, right? We're not even my troops. Fuck my troops. So like we'll click next. Like that's a pretty good loot. I wouldn't take it, but next, let's say 37. You're like I'm I'm done with this. I'm done with this game. Everyone hates me, but fuck me. Okay, so I'm like, <laughs> probably gonna go with this. What what you would do is that um, if you can't find loot, then you would probably you drop one troop. You drop just one. One lowly barbarian, your trophy count would drop. It would, let's say, from 1848, probably drop 20 trophies. Yeah, you made that guy happy for the rest of his night. And he'll probably, like, at 18, 20, 18, 15. And that's a whole fresh set of loot. Whole fresh set of loot. Whole fresh set of loot. And what that does is that gives you an opportunity to find even better loot. So, like, you start again. You start all 35 nexus again. And I'm pretty sure if you can't find loot, just by jumping one barbarian, probably be like, best. I already know that. I've done that lots of times and I still can't find loot. If you still can't find loot, that awkward silence. So, best. I've tried that. I can't find loot. I've dropped a troop. I did train. And I can't do it. So, you do it again. You drop another troop after you're 35. So, you, you're like really low. You're about to hit gold too, right? But don't, don't hit gold too. Remember, you want to stay in that gold range. So and now, if you still can't find loot after the 35, you go up. You start town hall sniping. You you go boom, boom, boom. Like I can't, I can't find loot. I can't find loot. Clicking next. The clicking next. And I, I see, like I can't find loot. Can't find loot. Um, you trophy snipe. And if there is no fucking trophies, because every base I've noticed that 99% of the community in Clash have trophy bases. Don't know why. Extremely annoying. And um, if you still can't find loot, then just Grab any Town Hall 7, get your full barge army, and just get 25 trophies. So that puts you back up. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it works, you guys. You guys, you guys, trust me. That's how you think. What do you think? I got my walls. All my level 9 walls were just one day. Doing this tactic. This tactic will help you guys. And and if, if you're so confused, I'm gonna do I'm gonna repeat myself. So can't find loot, you drop a troop. Can't find loot, you drop another troop. You still can't find loot, you go up, you go up trophies. You go up trophies, you, you raise up, it's okay, it's okay, nothing will happen, you'll still be in gold one, but remember, it's like the stock market. Just because you're in gold one doesn't mean that like all the bases will be like that. It all depends on where your trophies are put. So if your trophies are really high, you're looking at pe people that are trying to push, or, or if there's an inactive base somewhere in there, you get you get it you gotta fluctuate. It's all about the fluctuating system about this game. That's what makes this game really cool, it's all about the fluctuating system. Now, now let's say I've done everything. 
I failed. I still can't find no good loot. Please help me. You're a fraud. You, you, you're not helping me best. I got you, okay? So if you still can't find loot, now, I, I, I mean, this is the all-time holy shit moment. So what you should be doing now, if you can't find loot, you drop, you drop, you gain up, still can't find loot. You want to get off. You, you just want to get off. Maybe that thing, you reset yourself. Pretty much, what I figured out is I can't find loot. I'll reset myself, see what happens. Throw my town hall outside. Even if you get 3 star, you're only losing about like 200k, which you're probably going to farm back in like a raid. So, so what you want to do, you want to get off, just wait a couple minutes, someone's going to attack you, trust me, someone's going to find you. Throw your tunnel outside so you don't get 3 star, break that shield, get back to farming. And 35 likes, 35, 5 nexes, after clicking next 35 times, you still can't find loot. I'm pretty sure you found loot by now, and you're probably excited, and if you still can't find loot, don't, don't dislike it yet. Don't just like it. There's one more. This is a conspiracy. I have never tried this because I, I, I literally, honestly, after like my tactics that I figured out, you don't need to. You don't need to. You're done. You're set. You're welcome. But if if it still can't find loot, then either you fucking pissed off a Supercell member, I mean, uh, a worker, you did something to piss someone off. But if you still can't find loot, um, what you do is you change languages. If you, if, like, if you're having the struggle right now, I would probably drop a troop. But I don't have any troops to farm, so change language. Spanish language seems to be a good one. I heard all the conspiracies, you know, all the Illuminati. <laughs> now in Spanish, keep farming. <sighs> You'll find a base, patience, fluctuate. Imagine it as a stock market. Prices go up, you you follow the prices. Prices go down. Well, actually, if prices go up, that's good because then you're earning more money. If prices go down, you want to sell it out because then you're losing money. But same thing with this. Imagine it, Sora. Imagine, imagine you're the wave, right? And you're a surfer, and you want to get the big waves. What do you do? Are you gonna stay at the shore? No, you're gonna go in the very fucking bag, right? It's just like that. So what do we learn today? What did Best teach us today? So today we learned can't find loot. How the loot system works is you drop a troop, can't find loot, drop another troop. Can't find loot, go up or drop a troop. If you're really high on trophies, just keep dropping. But don't drop too low. Or go up. You know, you want to find that speed spot. And every every base, every trophy range has G spot. The G spot is the spot where every time you reach that perfect amount of trophies, mine is like 1826. If I have 1826 trophies, that's my G spot. That is the spot where you will find the most loot. You, like in like a matter of 10 seconds, you will find that sexy base that you're like, oh my god. Th that's the base. Everyone has a G spot. You just gotta find the G spot. That's all it is. It's patience and and doing a little math and and boom. By the end of the day, you probably have enough walls. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Best, and hopefully I taught you something. Hopefully I did it. If you didn't like it, then don't like it. If you liked it and found it really educational, please tell me if this works for you because it works for me and it works for most of my friends. And and just keep working, keep working what you're trying to work. Don't give up. Quit farming. Farming life is hard. The struggle life is hard. I mean. You got this. All just little patience and a little fluctuating your system. You will get right back on it. I will catch you guys on the next one.